Hey, how you doing? It's barbecue time, but today we're using the barbecue in an unconventional way. Hi, I'm Joey Altman, and today I'm going to show you my recipe for grill top paella, which is the national dish of Spain, and we're going to be using some delicious sausages and seafood in our paella. So first of all, let me show you what I've got going on here. I've got some sautéed uh, minced onion, garlic, and yellow and red bell peppers. And just when they're starting to get translucent and lightly caramelized, bring out their sweetness, I'm gonna add some sausages. I've got a great assortment of, of sog sausages here. I've got the hickory smoked linguiça. I'm gonna put that in the pan. And these are fully cooked sausages, so I just wanna put them in there to sort of brown a little bit. And I'm gonna add a ton of flavor to my rice. And I got some Asiago fennel sausage. A little bit of that and then some Cajun Creole style sausages is andouille. Put some of that in there. And I'm just gonna saute that around, let that get heated through. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of spice. Got some chili powder and some Spanish paprika called pimenton. It's a smoked pepper that's dried and ground up. And then I have some scallions minced scallions, stir all that together. I wanna to let this cook for a few minutes just so the sausage gets nice and hot. Okay, next, I'm gonna add my paella rice. Now this is a Spanish rice, it's a short grain rice. What you wanna do is you wanna cook the rice enough in the pan so each grain of rice gets nice and hot. That will enable it to start absorbing the liquid. But as you can see, this is mostly sausage, which I like, I like a nice meaty paella. Okay, my rice is nice and hot. My sausages are starting to get a little caramelized. Now, we're gonna add some clams. Sprinkle those over the top. Now, these clams have been washed and rinsed. What I do is I soak them in cold water for about 15 minutes and purge them and then rinse them off. Then I have some beautiful PEI mussels. Now, you don't have to add the seafood. I like the combination of seafood. You could add whatever you like to paella. And then finally, some peeled and deveined prawns, classic green olives. And for my cooking liquid, I'm gonna use a combination of chicken broth and clam juice. The ratio is two to one. So now, my liquid is in my paella pan. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have a paella pan, you can use any shallow skillet. Just make sure my, all my rice is submerged in my stock there like that, okay? Now once everything's in there, I cover it. This will get hot, this will get up to about 450 degrees. About 20 minutes, my paella should be done. My paella is ready, my people are ready, we're ready to serve. Oh, look at this, the clams and mussels have opened, they're done, rice is all cooked. Now my final garnish is some fresh chopped Italian parsley. I love the freshness it gives to it, and that beautiful color. And here we go. You all ready for some paella? We are ready for paella. All right, look at this. Who would ever thunk you could do paella right on your grill? I can smell it now. You know what I love is the combination of all the different types of sausage we have in here. It just gives such a great flavor. So many different spices and, and herbs. and oh, it's just, Everybody's going to be delicious and different. It's a work of art. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Boy, this is good. Thank you, Tim. Well, if you'd like some more great sausage recipes or grilling tips, go check out Sogs.com. The thing what I like to work at Sogs is, well, I got all the tools to make the best sausage. I got the best ingredients, I got the best meat, I got the best equipment, and I can blend it together. And when it comes out the best, it's a joy to look at it, smell it, taste it, and my day is done.